With Patrick Stewart making his big return as Jean-Luc Picard in Star Trek Picard, it looks like the legendary Starfleet officer is mostly making it so with a bunch of new crewmates. And while classic characters like Riker and Troy appear to be showing up in what are likely to be cameo appearances, it seems like one of the old Next Generation crew members is actually a cornerstone of the new series, Lieutenant Commander Data. The thing is, Data is dead, but you know, the golden android and Pinocchio surrogate had some robo-relatives who looked exactly like him. Yeah, there's a whole family of Datas and Data offshoots, actually, like the evil lore, or the not-really-all-there B4. Let Brent Spiner himself explain. Lore and, and B4 are different characters, completely. They look like Data, but they have different programming. Fortunately, we have really good writers and had really good writers who inform how the characters played. So the question is, could B4 or Lore or some other Soong type android figure into Picard? Hey, maybe that's not even Data we're looking at in the trailers. Oh, and what's a Soong type android anyway? Let's explain all the different Datas. Regular Data is just that, the guy you think of as regular old Data. We followed his adventures for seven seasons of Next Generation and four movies, as he served as the operations officer on board the Enterprise D and E. His greatest wish was to become more human, and he did his best to emulate human activities to that end, like playing poker with his friends, practicing his painting, music, and acting. He dated, he got a cat, and he even learned small talk. The light in this room would make color selection exceptionally problematic. Precisely. <laughs> Eventually, he did gain emotions thanks to a chip <clears throat> or MacGuffin, uh, but unfortunately, he died in the last next gen movie, Nemesis, sacrificing himself to save Captain Picard. Or did he? Okay, he's not an android, but Data's creator Dr. Noonien Soong was also played by Brent Spiner, like most of the characters on this list. Also known as Often Wrong Soong because of his misadventures while attempting to perfect the positronic brain, the key to a successful android, the scientist eventually did just that, and Data was born. But only after some less successful prototypes were rolled out. In season one of TNG, Data found out that he was not the only android out there when his brother, Lore, showed up. It turns out Dr. Soong had designed Lore before Data, but there was a bit of a problem with Lore's ethical subroutines, which is a nice way of saying he was kind of a son of a bitch. Also played by Spiner, Lore would go on to be a thorn in Data and the Enterprise crew's side through most of the series' run. He even teamed up with a group of Borg who had become disconnected from their collective, with the android becoming a sort of cult-like leader to the lost creatures. Data was forced to gun down his brother during this encounter, and the last we heard was that Lore had been deactivated. But, come to think of it, the Borg are in Star Trek Picard, so... And speaking of being deactivated, the Picard trailers show us that someone has been disassembled and chilling in a drawer at Starfleet for an unspecified amount of time. Could that be Lore? Or is it B4, the android who we learned in Star Trek Nemesis had been created by Dr. Soong even before Lore? B4 had a lower end version of Soong's positronic brain and as such was fairly limited in his functionality. Why do you have a shiny head? But when Data died at the end of Nemesis, the fact that he had copied his memories and uploaded them to B4 left a glimmer of hope that our beloved android would someday be resurrected in his brother's body. Never saw the sun. Which really doesn't seem all that fair to B4, does it? Ah, it doesn't matter. He doesn't know the difference. But wait, there are even more members of the Soon family, both from one-off next-gen episodes. Though Spiner didn't play either of these two, Data also had a daughter and a mother of sorts. Juliana Tainer had been Dr. Soong's secret wife, but when she died, Soong built an android version of her because he couldn't handle her death. Super healthy thing to do. Also funny, she never knew she was an android. Also super healthy to not tell her that. Lol, meanwhile, was built by Data. He considered her to be his daughter, and it seemed that Data had succeeded in constructing a stable positronic brain like his own. Tragically, however, when Lol exceeded her father's programming and began to feel her own emotion, she suffered a cascade failure in her neural net and she died. But notably, Data stored all of Lol's memories in his own mind after her death. 
And as we know, Data's memories were transferred to B4 at the end of Nemesis. So maybe, just maybe, Data and Law's memories are still out there somewhere in the time period of Picard, just waiting to be given life again. We've seen Data appear to Picard in the trailers for the new Star Trek show, and it sure feels like this version of the android is a dream or an illusion of some kind. We don't know much about him yet, and even Marina Sirtis seems to have some questions about him. Is it dream data or dreamy data? <laughs> well, a, a little of both, <laughs> little don't you both, think? Yeah. It was always dreamy, dreamy data. data, come yeah. on. So what do you think? Which version of data are we seeing in Picard? Could there be more than one of these guys lurking out there in this new show? Let us know in the comments below. And for more on Star Trek Picard, check out why Seven of Nine blames Picard for everything going on in the show. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.